Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mohammed Afiz, uh, Department of Thalmology, Kim's Carver. Today we'll be talking about Maddox rod test, uh, the sequential classes of squint classes. So, uh, let's start the class. So basically, what is Maddox rod? What is Maddox rod? Is uh, it's a series of uh, cylinders or grooves which converts the point light which converts the point light into a streak of light if the maddox rod is the axis of the maddox rod is vertical see this is the axis of the maddox rod or vertical it converts the light into a horizontal streak of light and this is useful in vertical uh, squints that is your hypertrophia or hypotropia okay so vertical axis maddox rod useful in vertical squint this is your this you remember vertical fourier uh, is tested by vertical uh, you keep the vertical uh, you keep the ro maddox rod as vertical vertical con in case of uh, horizontal Maddox rod axis of the uh, Maddox rod. If you keep the axis of the Maddox rod as horizontal, it will convert the point source of light into vertical. And this vertical uh, streak of light will be useful in horizontal squint. That is your isobar exophoria or exostropia. So vertical axis. The uh, Maddox rod is kept is as a vertical axis in vertic uh, sorry horizontal axis in horizontal squint. That is your ease of for your ex uh, You don't have separate Maddox rods. It is just you keep the Maddox rod as uh, it's the same Maddox rod. You keep it as either as a vertical axis or in the horizontal axis. Okay, now we'll see how it is acting. For example, we f first we'll see what is happening. Okay, this is the eye. And this is the white white light. And uh, we'll keep the Maddox rod. We'll keep the Maddox rod um, horizontally in in front of this side. So what happens is light from this side will come and focus on the retina, and it will form a and it form a white spot of light in the fovea fovea of this size here hmm. and here what happens in case of uh, this is the eye this is the eye and uh, white light here white light will come and fall onto this eye as a white white spot of light now we'll do I will keep a horizontal Maddox rod in the this side. This is your uh, say for example this is the left eye and this is the right eye. Now what happens? This uh, light will come pass through the Maddox rod and it will Maddox rod will convert the uh, spotlight into a since this is a horizontal axis it will con convert into a vertical streak of light. And the patient will see patient will see both the images as a vertical streak of light because this is orthophoric patient there is no displacement there is no isophoria or exophoria and you will see a vertical streak of light with the central white spot this is how patient will perceive both the images together it will form something like this understood now we'll see what happens in the exophoria and the isophoria isophoria this is the eye and this is the eye which has been turned like this when the eye has been turned the fovea which was here it has come like this and it is here fovea is here and the previously where the where the direction was fovea the here the this element has come here the fovea has come here fovea is here this is the temporal aspect of the fovea okay now this white lie on the left eye as it is it will fall onto the fovea no problem fovea it will be seen as a, a white light now what happens to the uh, maddox rod if we keep a maddox rod here horizontal maddox rod this light will come here and now it will, the fovea has been shifted here 
the fovea is been shifted here so the medox uh, the light which is which is getting con the white light which is converting to a streak of light will fall onto the temporal aspect of the fovea here it will fall fovea is here temporal aspect of the fovea now you know when any image which falls on the temporal aspect of the fovea uh, it will be projected to the nasally it will be projected here this image will be the patient will see as though the image is coming from here understood so the right eye the right eye image will be seen in the left side and the and the left eye image will be seen on the right 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 side so you will see something like this a white light on the patient will be seeing a white light on the right side and a uh, streak of light that is your uh red red streak of light on the left side so right right eye image right eye image will be seen here and left eye image will be seen here so this is called as crossed diplopia crossed diplopia and you see crossed diplopia in exophoria or crossed diplopia we see in exophoria or exotropia understood as simple as that now we'll see what happens in the esophoria okay this is the eye and this is the eye the eye has been turned like this the fovea which was earlier it has gone like this fovea is here now the nasal side has come here so this is the nasal aspect of nasal aspect of the fovea now this is the white light which falls on the fovea of the one eye that's fine no problem now now we have kept a maddox rod which is horizontal in axis which converts the light to point source of light into a vertical come and hit the nasal aspect of the fovea and it will form an image of uh, vertical streak now this nasal aspect we know that temporal gets uh, projected into the nasal and nasal get projected into the temporal now this gets projected into the temporal patient will see as if the streak of light is in the temporal now this is the left eye and this is the right eye now what happens is left eye the image of the left eye is in the left side and the Uh, image of the right eye is in the right side so images have not crossed so this kind of diplopia is called as uncrossed diplopia uncrossed diplopia you see it in esophoria or esotropia understood so see uncrossed diplopia is also known as homonymous homonymous diplopia homonymous and the previously exophoria we told it is a crossed diplopia also called as heteronymous diplopia heteronymous diplopia okay this is the basic funda behind the uh, maddox rod test understood so we'll see so patient patient will be kept at a 6 meter or 5 meter distance and he will be made to see here see here this white spot of light he is made to see and traditionally traditionally most of the time the uh, medox rod is kept on the right eye right eye understood when the uh, medox rod is kept on the right eye if the patient come play if the patient says i am seeing a white light in the center of the uh, red streak that means there is no fovea there is no separation of the image so no fovea understood if the patient says the uh, uh, since the medox rod is on the right side and the patient says i am seeing the uh, red streak of light on the red streak of light on the left side red streak of light on the left side since the uh, since the maddox rod is in the right side but sees the uh, red streak of light on the left side that means he is having exophoria understood cross diplopia if he sees the red streak of light on the left side when uh, uh, sorry right side and the medox rod is on the right side that means he is having esophoria either, either uh, any of these three condition can happen this is how we will test in the whether the patient is having uh, exophoria or esophoria based on the medox rod test okay so the same thing fix the patient fix a point light at 6 meter distance or if you are using a tangent i'll show you what is tangent scale at the center of the tangent scale there will be a white light okay medox rod on one eye 
and, and the axis of the maddox rod should be the axis of deviation if if you are testing for uh, isotropia or exotropia the axis of maddox rod should be horizontal if you are uh, testing for a hypotropia or hypotropia or is vertical squint the axis of the maddox rod should be vertical then uh, the principle behind the maddox rod if they ask it is the dissimilar images one eye will be seeing a white light spot white light the other eye will be seeing a uh, red streak of light these are dissimilar images when the dissimilar images presented onto the eye the fusion gets broken the fusion which is keeping the isophoria and the exophoria uh, intact uh, it, it gets broken and the exophoria or the isophoria which was latent becomes manifest that is the basic fund of fusion then what uh, so but one problem with in your textbook is there is a small problem in your textbook okay the image what they have given here the test uh, the result image what they have given it should represent a eye in which uh, right eye is represent it should represent a patient in which right eye has been uh, where the maddox rod has been kept problem here they have given a left uh, maddox rod they have ca kept it in the left eye and they have shown the picture of uh, right eye maddox rod so don't get confused when you see this image okay when you go through your textbook it's just uh, just uh, just remember that the maddox rod should have been here if the maddox rod is here then this uh, test results are correct uh, keeping the maddox rod here and this test result would be negative uh, wrong this uh, for this side is okay no problem okay that's what hyperheterophoria gets manifested now uh, that is the qualitative uh, uh, test now whether the exophoria or isophoria or the orthophoria what is present we have tested now we'll see how to find the amount of heterophoria how much heterophoria is present so we can do two things one is prisms or you can do a number of degrees now a number of degrees in the tangent scale well, first we'll see how to do prism this is the i this is the i and this is so this is the white light which is getting on focused on the fovea of one eye and uh, the other eye what happened is we have kept uh, maddox rod horizontal maddox rod and this is coming and hitting here now since it is an exo uh, since it is an exophoria we are talking about exophoria the fovea has shifted here and this becomes a temporal aspect and your streak of light image will be formed here red streak of image will be formed here now this gets temporal gets projected here understood okay uh, now this is the problem with the exophoria now what does your prism do see you know if you know the uh, what the what basically your prism does is what prism does is uh, if this is this is an object and this is your eye the ray of light will come like this and it will bend like this understood and patient will perceive as if the image has been shifted so always remember the ray of light bends towards the base ray of light bends towards the base and the image gets shifted towards the apex understood image gets shifted towards the apex now in our condition in our condition the fovea is here fovea is here but uh, the light is getting it to the temporal aspect now we want this ray of light which is entering the eye should come here towards the fovea now what you should do you should keep the base base in in exophoria you keep base in understood in isophoria isophoria what happens same thing the fovea will be here uh, the light ray will be falling onto the nasal aspect so you should get it here so for that reason you should keep base out understood because because as we told prism what the property of prism is it will bend the ray of light towards the base it will not bend towards the it will not bend uh, towards the it will not bend here towards the apex it will bend towards the base so light falling here will be for will be gradually following here so increasing strength of prisms will be kept and what prism and slowly slowly what happens is this was a streak of light and this was the image of uh, the other eye right? slowly the gap reduces between each eye when you increase the strength of the uh, strength of the prism earlier it was here then the ray of light will come here then the ray of light will come here 
understood it will come here it will come here and finally it will come to the fovea fovea of the deviated eye and when it comes to the fovea, fovea deviated eye this this light white light and this uh, they will merge together to form a uh, to form something like this what we have seen in the orthophoria understood streak of light and center of the streak of light you get the spotlight so that is the basic funda at what strength it uh, develops for example it develops a 20 diopter prism 20 and and you remember one diopter prism is equal to half degree so if 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 it nullifies the the isotropy nullifies a 20 diopter that means patient is having uh, 10 degree of isotropia or exotropia or exophoria understood as simple as that ulta happens in the isophoria understood you keep the prism other way and you tell 10 degree of isophoria as simple as that now we'll see what happens in the tangent scale okay this is the tangent scale and i told you as i told you uh, we'll see we'll take it as a green this is the white light okay i'll show it in green this is the white light and this is the eye for example we'll take it as a we'll take a isophoric condition only uh, now what happens is uh, now you keep the medox rod here and this will come as a, this will come and hit the uh, here you you hear what happens is the medox rod is fixing the uh, uh, red light so uh, red light maddox rod will this is the fovea and the red light will a red streak of light will fall on the fovea understood now in if this is the exophoric condition the fovea of the patient fovea of the patient which was earlier here it has shifted here understood this white light will be falling here we know that this cross diplopy everything we know but uh, that is not important in case of Mad maddox tangent scale what is important is the visual the this fovea will project onto the some number here understood this fovea will have a number of 8 and this fovea will num will have a maddox uh, streak so final image what person will be saying is the maddox uh, streak is corresponding to the number 8 you will see uh, when both the uh, when the brain interprets images from both the fovea patient will some see something like this a, a red streak on the right fovea and number 8 on the left fovea that in that way we can say patient is having a exophoria of 8 degree is given in degree similarly for hypertrophy or hypertrophia and a similar a similar principle is used in case of your maddox wing this is the maddox wing what is happening is your right eye right eye will be seeing only this part understood and your left eye will see this part see here patient will see through right eye here left eye here so they have some two blocks it is there it it separates the view so only right eye will see only this left eye will see only so dissimilar objects will be seen so when the right eye fovea focuses this uh, left eye I, uh, left eye will focus uh, left eye fovea will uh, have some image of any of this any of this number for example 18 degree if you see so you will pay, patient will see something like this when the right eye will be focusing uh, arrow vertical arrow something like this and the left eye is uh, fovea will have uh, some 18 degree number so patient will have uh, patient will say 18 degree uh, so it's 18 degree of exophoria or isophoria okay uh, in addition to that patient they also have uh, what do you call this is for hyper uh, hyper hyper hyperphoria or uh, right hyperphoria or left eye right hyperphoria is done right hyperphoria is also uh, can also be a left hyperphoria left hyperphoria can also be a right hypophoria understood now so I just to take that now this vertical uh, the horizontal line for the hyperphoria and also you have to check uh, this parallel this line is parallel to this one if it is not parallel as the patient it can it is a movable movable line is a uh, metallic uh, thing which can be movable as the patient to make this and this parallel the amount of uh, this thing it is required when it, uh, if the patient is having in cyclophoria or excyclophoria they will rotate such that it will show it in a degree here in cyclophoria or excyclophoria okay thank you if any doubts any correction kindly uh, uh, comment me in the comment box uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a, the squint classes are a little bit tough and very difficult to understand and as well as it is interesting that's one part it's tough and it's interesting 
if any any corrections any doubt please let me know in the comment section uh, kindly like share and subscribe my channel click the bell icon for further notification thank you